Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. Ooh. Go online. Hmm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Fiance. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. <laughs> it's reality, yay. Let's love. <laughs> Are we rolling? We're rolling. This is the show. This is the show, Christina. And more importantly, this is Toe. This is Toe. <laughs> this is motherfucking Toe. This is Toe, I'm everyone. wearing socks that say, come at me. <laughs> Did they really say, is, come at yes, me? Yes, that a sissy got Let me. Let me see. It says, come at me. Wow, they do. You just want to touch my leg. No, I don't, actually. I could use some hand sanitizer. <laughs> Y'all, if you're watching the intimate portrait right now, you just saw a lot of Poodle's leg. <laughs> Woo! It looks like I'm wearing garters. And you're wearing green shorts. Like, you it's look bad. like a military. This looks bad. You look like a military schoolboy. I'm I'm rethinking the choices yeah. I made. If you're for... on the intimate portrait, <laughs> just imagine you're sitting right here with us in the middle. <laughs> dum dum. <laughs> Captain Sandy, yeah. Law and Order sound. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, welcome to like Toe. This. Welcome to Toe. We're we're all Twitter because I'm Twitter pated. Well, t- with Twitter. Well, we're all because I'm this, a Twitter. We're a week away. A week away from our first live show in Los Angeles. We're y'all. This is I'm sweating. Poodle and I don't normally feel this way a lot. I finally got excited today. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> good. Because I was excited before, and he had a. Poodle process is a little slower than night. Not in a bad way. I mean, like he takes it in. I take my time. Yeah, you take your time. And whereas I just. I'm not like yesterday. Mabel from Pirates of Penzance. I was very excited yesterday. But I think we're also. Um, I had to organize things this morning because we have oh, this kind Jesus of. Jesus well, we, I think we both have a little bit of like, not anxious, but just nervous energy because this is an FFT. This is the fucking first time. We've never done this before. We've never done this, especially in a pandemic. And we really care about actually. We want to have Two things. We want to have fun. Well, three things for Poodle. Me and Jake both agree on that we want to have fun, and we want y'all to have a really good time. Yes. And three, Poodle wants to fuck your husband. I do want to fuck your husband. So, <laughs> you know, that that's what's happening. Yeah. That's what's happening. And I want, it, I want you guys to have a good time, and I'm also giving up. I'm I'm a perfectionist. I know that's amazing to to think about. Shocker. Who would ever think I was a perfectionist? Um, and I'm letting go a lot of those tendencies. Good. So, and Good. we're being example we're, to sissy. We're um, we're uh, uh, we're we are not the product of our uh, of our accomplishments. No, we're not that. We're gonna have a uh, good. We're gonna time have a great time with a lot of thirsty dick pigs, and we're just gonna have a good. good I don't know time. what's gonna happen. I, honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm either. honestly a little. Those are the anxiety dreams where, like I think I said, one of the shows this week, where I may I make some long winded metaphor that doesn't work, and everyone's <laughs> just quiet, and it ruins the show. <laughs> Or lies, I'm afraid I'm going to say like an old, oh, you know, he's just an old and I'll use an expression that's like really racist or yeah. something. And I have yeah, we've no had to idea do that with you it, before. Yeah, just we, you, oh, we just take, me. We take those out of the podcast. Yeah, usually. We're, <laughs> we're, we don't we don't say those normally. It's a, but you know what I mean? So you'll, I don't no, think you'll say be anything. you'll say things and you'll see the you don't, you don't see this, but the look on my face goes edit. Edit, edit. Yeah, because I've never, you've never said anything. I've done it a couple of times. Uh huh. So anyway, we're excited, um, y'all. If you did want to go to the Los Angeles show and you missed it, be sure to check the the ticket link for. If you just Google Reality Gays and Dynasty Typewriter, because 
Some people can't come, and there have a couple of people are returning their tickets. We already had two that returned, but then somebody bought Someone them. Someone bought them. But I, somebody else emailed me a couple of days ago, and she was going to ask for a refund yeah. as well. So be checking. There could be tickets at the last minute. And let us know. Got to be vaxxed. Remember that. Got to be vaxxed and show your vaccine card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not, well, it, it would have been our rule anyway. It's a but or it Los is now Angeles. a city of Los Angeles rule. Yeah, so that's what we um, do. We would have done it anyway. No, we're going to do that for I would every have done show it anyway. after, yeah. Um, so anyway, that's it. We're excited! Oh, I liked the turnaround on <laughs> Thank that. Thank you. Um, I'm also excited because I took a Peloton ride. Oh, and at no. the end of it, I took a cool down ride oh, with no. Eric Jaeger, the German instructor. Oh, I don't know him. Oh, uh, he's the hottest one. Oh, no. You, you, Google Eric E R I K Jaeger spelled J A G E R. Um, and he was for his Halloween ride and he was in a full devil costume. So I wanted to fuck him. Uh-huh. And then, so it was, it was already working on my, I want to have sex with the devil. Oh, uh, with this devil costume? Yes. Oh, wow. Where I uh, see him in real life, though. I already want to have sex with the devil. Oh, wow. Um, Oh and wow! Also, He's a very and also his the the my expressionist German kink that he was shouting at me. So I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little. I don't. I wouldn't say horny. I would okay. say I'm keyed the fuck up. It's, so he actually speaks with a German accent. No, he speaks in German. Oh, and my German conversational isn't isn't very good at all. So the whole understand. Peloton's in German. Some of it is. Most most of most of all of his stuff is in German. Oh, There's a couple wow. of classes he'll do in English. Um, but he is he uh, gay? You know he's he hasn't. I think he's straight, but he's super super welcoming and affirmative. Oh, he's an and, ally, and he's German, y'all. German straight men do all things up. The they butt. suck Women, dick, yeah. And they're not even gay. They're just trust like, me. They're just like sure. I've made out with a lot of German boys. Wow, he's German very, boys. He's very handsome. He's he's the hottest one. He's the hottest Peloton instructor. Wow. Yeah. I thought that was going to be like a, a reason, like something wonderful. No. You're just, I'm just really horny. <laughs> You're just horny. I'm keyed up. Wow. I was like, do I stop now and jerk off? That's or why do you, I keep going? That's why you wanted to get the. He kept being all this morning like, come on, let's do the show. Let's do the. Oh, you got plans tonight, do you? Okay. Well, first I have, I'm, I'm meeting a friend for coffee and then I have plans later. Got to get everything checked a off. A friend <laughs> or a friend? Uh friend with question mark okay hey we've all had those it's, anything else that we gotta you know what? do it's, it's, he is a friend i shouldn't say that um say that. well you gotta do that because you're living the single life poodle get it because the single life is out this week that was like the the clumsiest joke was, i've ever heard it was pretty bad y'all single life is coming out and what's happening is that's dropping on discovery plus we're going to drop it on our five dollar tier of patreon and then it's going to go when like in three months when it drops on the free feed or it drops on tlc we'll put it on the free feed so we're excited for that also we want to remind you that next week when we are doing the live show um we're going to be there might be a little bit in, in a delay of uh, just as you know, the weeks that we do a live show and we cover a show, we're gonna it put, might not come out on its normal day. And we're gonna put because we're gonna we're, our plans are to put the live show so, on the audio in yeah. place of the podcast. You're not unless some sissy in the middle of it just like <laughs> takes her bra off and just starts throwing her tits <laughs> on every. Yeah, <laughs> then we're gonna have to maybe ruin the show. But uh, <laughs> so you're not missing out on anything. Just know that I it will drop it when that. we can. We just edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but anything else? I think that's, um, we haven't decided a charity for November. You can still do well, a charity. Well, yes. We were. We also say we were going to tell sissies who are coming to the show next week, the live show. See if you can watch the current. The episode's going to air that day early on the fourteenth. Plus, watch we are covering. We're covering next week's episode. Yes. Now, if you're saying, oh, I'm really, we're, we're not going to cover a show. We're already doing a show on it. It's we're like not going to cover days a show late. that's a week old. Yeah. So it's not fair to everybody else. It's, it's, Sunday's kind of a weird day. In general, we're, no, we're probably not going to do a lot of Sunday shows. No. Um, but so this is a, this is a one time thing, probably. Yeah. Uh, if we can help it. Uh, but we will be, we'll be talking about that show. Yes. Um, and of next week. And also remember, if you're worried about it, not not a lot. 
happens on 90 Day, unless it's this episode. I don't think it's too much. This episode. Where a lot happened, especially who, with Jenny and Submit. Who knew I was going to get so emotional with Jenny and Submit? I don't want to say this, but I actually got emotional and I, I was upset at myself. I got tears. I didn't cry, but I got tears in my eyes. And, I, and goose yeah. pimples. Is and that I, it? That's it. Let's this episode in. is called Written in the Stars. Written in the Stars. Is it written in the stars? Are we paying for some crime? Is it all that we are asking? Is it some mortal wretch of time? Is it God's experiment in which we have no say? In which we're given paradise, but only for a day? Don't know that song. It's my Adam Pascal. Oh, I don't know that from song. Aida. Oh, I'm exhausted now. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of. This like having... I swear by the stars. No, the song is called, called Written, Written in the Stars. Oh, there you go. I'm not familiar with that show. Is it good? It's not the not the reaction I was. <laughs> no, what? no, I, I enjoyed it, but I never. Uh, let's just say a pretty this. good Adam Pascal. I saw actually. it with. I they, this, uh, thank you. It's pretty good. God's experiment. <laughs> okay, all right. Just it's good. We we got to move on. <laughs> um, Who'd you see it with? It is. You know who I saw it with? Who? Mother Poodle. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we know took how her, she feels about took a her to her theater. first Broadway. She's fine in theater. Mm. She doesn't. She's embarrassed when she sees people sing on television. She wouldn't even like Chicago. Well, I like it where those women shot that cheater. No, she's okay because that feels super theatrical. Uh-huh. But when people just open their mouth and start singing, which yeah. is a conceit in musical theater, which I told her, she's like, I don't know. It just feels, I'm just getting embarrassed for him. <laughs> <sighs> she's not alone in that. That is a, that, that is, is it, it's a, it feels awkward to people and it feels uncomfortable. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, but she saw it. She's like, yeah, I, I, I liked it. Okay. Um, I, uh, I didn't love that part where there was a queer little ninja dance, where <laughs> she used the phrase "queer little ninja." Me, queer is in weird. I think yes, 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 yeah. Um, but she, I was just like, okay, wow. <laughs> she, she, when he went, fortune favors the brave, which is a terrible song. But that but, makes um, sense because a lot of older gays don't like to be called queer because when they grew up, that was the word for yeah, weird. Yeah, but my mother called. My mother will say think that's that's just a little queer. She she would mm-hmm. use that not in a gay way. Didn't know it's about her own son. <laughs> Didn't know. But Didn't she know. she did say I like the part at the end when they're gonna be buried alive. Uh but <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> But I saw it with Heather Headley, and she was amazing. Oh yeah, Heather. And they sounded really good. the The musical's kind of overdramatic and not good, but I have a real soft spot for the score. Elton John wrote yep. it, right? All right then. Yeah, it's based on the opera. There we go. Of course. Let's go, y'all. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> You're oddly I am calm. In a weird place. I know. I'm like, what's happening with Poodle? I'm in a weird place. <sighs> you need to get fucked. <laughs> Badly. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about Jenny and Submit, shall Let's we? Let's do it. Oh, we forgot to set the timer. Oh, well. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. I can't find Get it. Okay. Okay. Set the timer. Back, back, back. They love me. Okay. Let's just, let's just, I need to assume something. Yes. I have a feeling that Jenny... Uh, kidnapped the astrologer's family. <laughs> Something happened because this astrologer turned and, around and have them show and have them like show up a picture of today's paper. Yes, uh, to show him that they were. You're gonna your family gets it. If family you don't, got- if you don't tell if you don't tell Smith's parents that um we're, we're gonna you didn't marry people. Go, <laughs> uh, go pick their eyes out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna murder your family. Yeah, scratch them with my chicken feet. <laughs> Because that's the only reason that would cause a turnaround like this. It's he didn't even do so. I guess my understanding is he was more worried last time about that was the timing. Yes. So astrologers are 
not only astrologers, but they're also therapists, therapists I guess, in ish. India. Because this was very much a therapeutic conversation. But this was a, like an Alanya, Alanya was a Van, Van Zandt Zandt kind of, beloved, beloved, you need to stay Beloved. out of their way. I'm going to read you for <laughs> filth. That's what, y'all, what was his name? Khalid? Like DJ Khaled, yeah. Yeah, he fucking read Mama Submit for filth. So, y'all, the astrologer is coming. And <clears throat> so, uh, Smith comes in there and says, like, Jenny, the astrologer, think, Jenny, the astrologer. I think you need to serve uh, my parents some snacks and she's like, it'll she's, look good and chai and it'll help my mom. And just if you could, it would, uh, if you could favor us. It and she still, y'all, is sick and she sounds terrible. She sounds and, sick, actually. And I wrote, Jenny's kind of done. <laughs> Jenny's just like she's breaking down. The, she's at the end. She's yeah. at the end. And so. She said, you know, the last time they saw the, star, saw the astrologer, he said to wait. And but she's like, Jenny says, whatever they say, he follows it. So I'm kind of worried. Well, Anil, Samit's dad, says, yeah, give you all some context. He has literally followed this astrologer for 30 years. Yeah. He says, I, his, I find his predictions perfect. That's why I follow and when him. I, and when I, have a, when, I, when I don't follow him, I always go get into a problem. Yes. So... Yeah. So, and astrology, you guys, if we if you don't know this, and we've talked about it before, astrology is huge in India. If you remember Indian matchmaker, uh, yeah. a lot of times she they went by star charts to yes. match people, and that was the most important thing, not compatibility. A lot of times, have you found yourself you're attracted to people that are your on your like you're compatible? Like I know Pisces, I'm supposed to be attracted to like cancers and scorpios and a lot of my first relationships were all with cancers oh really yeah did you i'm did you, cancer's my rising sign so but i mean though for uh <clears throat> why am i just mugging for the i don't know <laughs> but have you dated people or i guess you don't know their name so i don't think you know their <laughs> sign um but you know but you i know dated i know some certain people. compatibility with I, I, they're more personality types. Like I know Scorpios are supposed to rock my world, and and one of my top three fucks of all time, uh, tip three, two of them were Scorpios. I can't imagine having sex with someone and rolling over, going, "What's your sign, by the way?" No, no, no. These are people that when it was that good, we saw each other a little bit more. Okay, so you know, it was sounds more, like love. Not <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Like a fairy tale. So I guess Written you don't in know. the stars, as it were. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So, um, no, I, I just know I'm uh, Scorpios for me. Mm -hmm. um, like sun sign Scorpios, you run run away. Okay. And um, you're a Libra. Yeah. Usually a Libra I'm, man. Usually I'm drawn to Leos. Mm -hmm. um, that makes sense. And that's who I've been, I've dated a lot. Is that who they say you usually will get with? Often times, worked? yeah, yeah. No, they're bad for me. Everyone, I, everyone I see, that's usually, cancers for me. I'm drawing them, and they're bad. For usually, me. usually, uh, the a better sign for me is Aquarius. Okay, um, but I find them boring. Um, there we uh, go. Stay. I usually stay away from Virgos as well. Okay, um, because I've dated them. Scorpios and Virgos usually. So Le maybe Leos. I still want to fuck them all. Maybe there's some truth to it. I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I was just interested. So, okay. So, Jenny, they sit, and she talks about being sick, and the astrologer immediately says, well, of course you're sick. It takes a long time to get acclimated to everything. <laughs> That's it. Emotionally, India. physically, <laughs> um, and and she spiritually, and Jenny goes, well, you're not saying that's right. Um, and at one point, so uh, Mama Smith says, Jenny doesn't know how any of this works. I don't know what I'm going to... I don't... We're trying to teach her. And at one point... There's so much work for the, a woman in India. The astrologer just goes, you don't have to do anything. Stay out of their house. Stay out of their affairs. And I went... Grr. And I did too. <laughs> he said, you shouldn't interfere in someone else's house. Jenny will learn on her own. And Jenny admits, she's like, I do need to try harder. I will try harder. Who knew that we just needed to bring the fucking astrologer uh, in and uh, she needed to kidnap the astrologer's family? Exactly. And then he says to Smith, he's like, so what, what really bothers you? And she's like, well, 
marriage means children. And he said, is your marriage theirs? <laughs> huh, this bitch? Was, this like, every time I wanted was, to say, girl, I like, <laughs> snap after everything he and, said. And the audience would go, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry or Carly, 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 Carly. It did feel like, and it did feel like everything needed a reaction. Yeah, are you Jenny's mother? Oh, it seems that, oh no, she said, are you a, a selfish mother? Because it's, and then instead of letting her answer the question, he said, because it seems that way to me, bitch. <laughs> he was she brutal. She was a brutal cutthroat queen. It was a reed cut to filth reed. Um, oh. And Ooh. at one point, yeah, I, I wrote this is and full Mama on a young Submit, Van Zant. Yeah, she's just sitting there literally like she just vomited on herself yep. and is just sitting in it. And he, he says, what kind of mother are you? Let him go. Let your yes. son go. And y'all, Mama Submit loses it. Oh. She starts crying. Yeah, she full and, on starts. Not like little tears. No. Like, and at one point he goes, and they're playing this thing anytime this season. They've done it the last couple episodes where it's this like beautiful, like plaintive piano melody. They did yes. it like four times. Yeah. Uh, the the music supervision, the level of music better has this, gone up. It's better this season. Um, I agree. Because on um, Ari and uh, Ari and they did the uh, same thing, same one, and like with they they are very manipulative with Kenny and Armando as well. Yes, yeah. even though there's just not a lot of there there. But like when Kenny though walked into the airport and the music swelled and it was screaming, I, and Cooper ran up. Can I just him. say that child is a star? That child is a star. That child, we a star is, is born. born. And Co- Cooper has beautiful eyes. I know that that's he. I think this child might enter the pantheon. Maybe of of fun, beautiful ninety, 90 day, day children. Ch- that's true, that's true. Um. So, anyway, she, and the astrologer after he's finishing, like after he finishes <laughs> slitting her throat. Yeah, Mama Submit is having her own <laughs> red wedding. She's just <laughs> sitting over there bleeding out. Basically, she's done. <laughs> and then he turns to Jenny. He's like, "Well, let me tell you what's happening, chicken." <laughs> and he says, "This is destiny." If she cannot, she can, doesn't have to bless you, but she shouldn't curse you. And the, but the mother wants to fight back, so it's going to take time. Yep. And she even say, he even says to Mama Cement, she's like, the thing is, if you keep doing this, your body will be affected by this negativity. That's yes. a big thing, big thing in, in Eastern in, culture. It is, is yes. yes. It's, they believe, which is what, what Americans should believe, that the emotional and intellectual... And spiritual things we hold on to affect our stay health. in our bodies. Yeah, because y'all, it does. Okay, the, I, 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 it I, does. I believe it too. But let's not tell people what to believe. <laughs> I believe anything to live. Let's. That's you. You say that because you've been living in Los Angeles long enough. No, I've seen it. I I agree with you, but I'm saying. You 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 said I that as saw it and I lives... read it on an Instagram meme <laughs> that some white lady put on. No, she was Latinx. <laughs> so thank you. <clears throat> you you have no idea how hippy dippy you or I, I or I become. There actually, I believe is, that too. I can't quote <laughs> where I found them, but I actually do. Even in school and stuff, we because it's starting like in the beginning of. There's not a lot of literature about it, but science is starting to look at the correlation of I, like, I, like we know for sure this is proven. People that are isolated have higher rates of cancer, mm-hmm. have higher rates of heart disease. I, I totally like believe that. it, especially with cancer. Um, yeah. um, but depression. I'm just, I'm just saying, but, let's not tell our sissies and our audience what I'm to believe. I'm saying get right <laughs> with your mind, y'all, or your body's gonna fuck you up. I'm just, I'm just not gonna do that. I am. <laughs> Come at me if you got a problem. Hashtag or at the Matt Mar. <laughs> Hashtag. So, Hashtag Matt Mar. So I want to say the, the astrologer says to Jenny, they are fixed in these old traditions. and But this is destiny, like you said. Uh, and I wrote down, could this be the turning point? Oh, my God. Papa Smith says later on, after the astrologer has gone, Papa Smith says, oh, your mother would like to speak to Jenny. And Submit looks like someone just found a gerbil in his ass. He's just like, what? <laughs> what? 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 So, so y'all, they, 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 they basically say, we're going home tomorrow. Remember, they've only been there a day. Like two days or something like that. Which Dr. it feels like three weeks. It does. Um, so 
They've only been there a day. And and Jenny's like, mm, I've enjoyed having you. <laughs> yeah. She, props to Jenny. She, you, I will she say this. She was very gracious. Jenny, if Jenny gets Summit to marry her, she will do this Spoiler, by sheer will. She will. She will. He if. won't. It's do a big it. if. He won't. Do it. Um, but so she says later on, uh, the she, Mama Smith says the astrologer made me understand a lot of things, and she says you are a good person, and what God has written in the stars, we I cannot argue with, and I'm. We're not going to. We should maintain love. We should. Us. We should. I love you, Jenny. She's like and Jenny. We, we will. Love. We will. And this is when I started crying. This is when I got teary because Jenny just fucking <clears throat> loses it and like gets up and just rushes and hugs her. Yeah, I get goosebumps even when I Jenny, said it. y'all. Jenny has been wanting this for how long? Five years longer. Seven, well, they've been together for like ten. Yeah, right. This is it's, and Jenny. Jenny thought, I thought, I would say, I think you thought, none of us thought this would ever nope, happen. No, I didn't. I was bowled over. This is, this is, this is three seasons of shows, y'all, where everyone went, this is never going to, her, his parents are never going to accept I her. I will say, I was on a surprise. And they're not accepting her yet. They're no. just not opposing her <laughs> but on a level of surprise for the 90 day multiverse of zero being that andre is going to bulldoze his way through something and uh, yell at um what's her name's family oh um and then maria with yeah. maria being and real Mar- and maria being or, real that's, that's a exactly. and maria being to i still remember when maria was real that was the, I. I can. I, I know I, exactly where I was. I was yes, sitting on your couch, and we were. That, anyway, I think that's the biggest surprise slash reveal in all of Naughty Day. Oh, for sure, for sure. I just, boy, I wish they could get us again like that. It'd no. be great. No. So if that's ten, I would have put this at a hard eight. I I was gonna say the same thing. I. That's how much I was surprised by this. Um, I'd also like to say. Now, uh, like, Tiffany's going to have another baby. That's like a two. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to happen? No, I don't think so. No, she's not with Ronald anymore. No, she's not. I didn't know that Daniel's father died. Kind of, she posted an Instagram. He yeah. died a couple years ago. Daniel looks just like his dad. His yeah. dad was hot. Yeah, it's, it's, I got that. Now, that's one of the kids. That's all. He's also a star. Daniel's one of the kids who I think needs so much help and support. Oh, I. I he's, hope he's going just with what he's gone through. I hope he's gone, going to therapy because this whole thing literally with your Ronald, father dying, then Ronald's gone now too. This has this if 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 he is not being supportive, yeah, kids are resilient. But I was just like, I would be fucked up. If I'm I was not a saying kid. that there's anything. Not don't, yeah, we're not saying anything's wrong with Daniel. We just mean not that Tiffany listens to us. But but if anybody like, please tell like. That kid, it would be a very supportive thing for him to be able to talk to somebody yeah, about this. Yeah, definitely. Anyway. So, they're basically... Meanwhile, Jenny's a mess. Poodle's a mess. I'm halfway there. I'm a mess. Uh, and y'all... And Jenny says... Look, Jenny says, So, oh, that's what if I ever thought this. Let's love everyone. It's so, only everyone. We just love each other. Do we have your blessing for our marriage? So, <laughs> can we get married? And then she goes... Mama Smith goes... <sighs> you, you actually see... Like Mama Summit's stomach turned, and she kind of looked like <laughs> she, she goes, and she does a mother poodle, y'all. Like that that stomach you make. The we'll next, see. Yeah, you know we'll what? See it's, the next morning when you ate Jack in the Box tacos at three a.m. Been there, and the next morning you're just going. Ugh. And y'all know. Jack the Box tacos are not good. They're not good. But at 3 a.m. They're delicious. It tastes Taco like Bell's the already cum close. of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you eat one at like 4 p.m. And you're yeah. like, who eats this shit? Who eats this shit? So later on, she's like, they in there like in the moment. She's like, well, we're not going to support. We're going to stop you or really support you. And uh, and then she even says, change a little and see what happens. And yeah. then uh, and Jenny says, they're not going to stop us. And that's good enough for me. That's the best thing that's, Jenny's ever gotten. That is. Meanwhile, the mom and dad in the, in the moment, the dad basically says, 
let's hope this relationship ends. <laughs> like, so they're not done. They're they're, they're not, not done. Done they, giving up hope. They still they do not want him to get married. They no. do not want to submit to get but married. But the big thing is they are not actively opposing, which was in in Indian culture their right. Mm-hmm. Um, and so Jimmy comes back. They they all come back. The parents go in. Jenny comes back, and she looks at Submit, and she's like, "Well, they accepted us. They're uh, they're not going to stop us from getting married." And Smith goes, "Really?" And Submit's kind of like, "Y'all." He went, "What?" what? He's like, "I'm speechless." And that's because y'all, if their imaginary ticker over his head just went to that to one hundred. Yeah, there's only one way now he cannot marry Jenny out of one hundred and one ways not to marry Jenny. It's kind of like when the dog catches the car; <laughs> they get been, ran over. You've been chasing. They and get chasing. what they all want. The dog just wanted. goes, and the car stops. The dog goes, "What the fuck do we do now? What the fuck do we do now?" Yeah, uh, and later on in this next scene, uh, we <sighs> we could actually. Do you want to take a break and then we'll go on to the next scene? Sure. We're going to take a break and then we're going to talk about Holy. Holy. All right, y'all. The parent, We're back and the parents are leaving town. They've gone. Well, one thing I just want to say, when Summit talks to the parents. Oh, I forgot. We they, forgot about that part. Uh, after they come back in, it is like, this was like, this reminds me, this show is so queer. With the way it's not not the way my mother thinks the no. queer little ninja dance, cool. <laughs> which she calls queer. <laughs> ninja. Um, but this this idea, he's like, we accept you. We it. He's like, thank you. He's like, it feels so good to be. This now is this another is. kind of accepting of a certain kind of family yeah. paradigm. Um, I think that's why this show resonates. So oh, much with people. I think so. Especially sure. with just LGBT or queer people. Yes. Yeah. Um, you say that like, oh, we, we, that's something that's obviously known. <laughs> it is. So sorry. Everybody knows. To offend. So sorry to say something everyone already knows. No, I didn't mean it. I just meant like, hell yes, I agree oh, with you. You just gave, just noticing that? Anyway. Um, I'm going to sit back. So I'm going to sit forward. I'm going to sit back. If you're watching the intimate portrait, I'm I'm more relaxed. Ooh, I'm just on your couch and I'm just feeling. My, my I can see it. the 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 joints Ugh. are very stressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're already. Ma I had to tighten them with an Allen wrench. Oh please. <laughs> so basically, uh, the mother Smith says, "I won't tell you that I accept it, but um, I will not." Loud car. That's a loud car. It is. Um, I won't accept it. But I'm not going to stay in. I'm not going to stand in your way. And I think what the most amazing thing, he starts crying. And she says, I'm so sorry. She starts crying. That too. that this that we did this to you. And I did not mean it. And she's like, I, I told you that I, that I was okay with Jenny, but I didn't accept it in my heart. And he says, this is, this is a lot for him. He says... All this is all forgotten. Yeah, because she said I feel all bad water for under the bridge. Every I feel horrible for uh, all the arguing, all the fighting, all <clears throat> yeah. everything I did that was mean to you. And he said, "Yeah, it's all forgiven." And she says, "A mother can change in every way, and you changed me a lot." I could. I was. I was crying here too. This story has never made me cry. No, I think that which is true, y'all. If you let them, your children are your best teachers. Yes, I believe that one hundred percent. Um, so we're in. We're doing holy, 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 holy. Yes, now that Lord God of power and might. No, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Is that Hosanna. the cat? Hosanna in the highs. In excelsis. <laughs> I thought we were actually going to do the hymn. No, that's oh, what we sing it. Catholic that's the Sanctus. Yeah. Yes. In your Vatican II <laughs> terrible <laughs> Reformation style. It's a shame what they did to music. 
<laughs> All right, let's continue. So that's, that's, that's that that was the that could have been the 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 commercial for uh, Vatican II. Um, Vatican II, when music just isn't basic enough for you. <sighs> Glad that even though you don't consider yourself Catholic, you still know all the music. I do. Um, so they're playing holy games. It is the Festival of Spring, Peace, yes. and Forgiveness, where they play with color. It basically looks like they've just been to Burning Man. Yeah, or um, some color run or some <laughs> shit like yeah. that. They get the color, and Jenny's like, oh, look at that. What is a color they- run? The color run, they do their like 5Ks or marathons where they like, you, I've heard I, about that. They but run yeah. and they those same type of pigments that are like yeah. natural that won't hurt. They like throw it on people, and they just they're running with colors. What's the allure? It's very gay. They look like big rainbows just running around the. Streets. I know, but what's the allure? It people look. I think people that run marathons they're into running marathons, but they also y'all you're just getting on a road and running. What's new about it? They got well, do no, some, it's for your own well, that too. But I mean, they're trying to mix it up. They do like that, or they do like the rock and roll marathon, which there's bands like at each five miles. Those are cool. And like, I just thought they called them the rock and roll marathon. No, they're actual that. They have, yeah, the, you, you probably I what, learned something today. What if, if they had a, 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 a top fucking marathon, you probably <laughs> would join that one real quick. Although do you get he fucked would, every other every other k- kilometer? Yeah, although you probably would still only make it about halfway, <laughs> and then you just and would then get someone would off. take me out. Someone would take you out, or or I'd meet someone, and I'm like, can we just go back? Can we just go? exactly? <laughs> There's all different types of marathons. They they mix it up, mix it up. Color runs. Yeah. Okay. That's it. They just. I don't want it. I don't want when I'm running and sweaty. I don't want the throat. Color yeah, I'm the same face. way. Get my eyes and burn. I don't want that. I'm sure it's. I just and your clothes are all stained. Yeah, unless you're like. And then there's we're the radical, so old. It's true. There are radical fairies. They're into shit like that, and they yeah. put color on each other, and then they suck each other's dicks <laughs> and smell each other's piss. I'm into that. You're into that. Uh, I don't want to get color all over me though. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Where were we? Many um, people could eat something and color their semen, and then then you could look kind of like a like a Pollock painting. Then it, then it would just <laughs> just all over look, you. I would look like a uh, slutty Rainbow Bride. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, you would. I didn't realize you just told me there was a Rainbow Bride character called Twink. Yes, Twink, I didn't know it's called Twink. Was Twink. this little like, cloud? I think little what cloud. It looked or like star. A, it looked like no. It's an actual being. Being, you know what we're manifesting. <clears throat> it's like a little seen, troll figure. Ever since we've talked about it, I've seen like three or four different like comedians or celebrities talk about. Ryan Reynolds just talked about this about people ta- uh, bringing uh, grimace back and bringing like the people. Ever since we've been talking, you're welcome. About it. Because Ryan Reynolds was talking about, they did a thing with Mick Rib and how it goes well with the aviation gin. Yeah. And so he did an ad for me. Then at the end, he's like, and bring Mick Rib back, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> or not Mick Rib, bring Grimace. Grimace. Grimace back. We haven't seen Grimace in a while. We haven't. Someone said that Grimace was a taste bud. Oh. Which is weird. That is weird. We're off on a topic. When when would that when what ad what ad exact thought so we just have a taste bud? People will get that right. People will get that. Weird. <sighs> so, McDonald's sounds good now. <laughs> Why? It does. Of course it does. It always sounds good. It always good. does. I'm sorry. <laughs> Made him hungry for it now. When Poodle's horny, he wants Dick and or McDonald's. And or McDonald's. It's the There's same. only one thing that's going to fill me. <laughs> one. The choice of two. Because if he eats McDonald's, then he'll feel too full to get fucked. That's true. Yeah, that's a conundrum. Too full to fuck. Too full to fuck. It's that uh, someone told that's me. That's the going to be Cassie the, David. That's going to be David's the name of the Poodle, thing. Poodle's seventh book, which actually will be a cookbook. <laughs> Don't make this because you'll be too full to fuck. There'll be a whole chapter of yeah. things that you'll eat. Don't don't make this when you're fucking. But yeah, it's delicious. And you could do light salads, uh, fuel for fucking. One we called roughage. Roughage <laughs> for rough play. <laughs> I love this. And there's a whole dessert thing for when you have dessert after you fuck. Yes, a nice a nice cream cheese and it's chilled. Cream cheese or cr- uh, cheesecake. Oh, okay. Cheesecake with those cherries on it. Yes. Ooh, I'd love that. That sounds great. Mother you Poodle do would that. make those. You should make a cookbook. 
Anyway, we're talking <laughs> about Submit and Jimmy. Where are okay. we? Where are we? So, <clears throat> so he, they're basically they're they're celebrating. They're it's putting about, color in it is faces. Opportune because it's about acceptance and just <sighs> and forgiveness, and they're just throwing colors on yep. each other. And and she's like, "Well, Submit, this is our third holy together. You know, uh, before we go on." I think we need to do this as a reality gaze <sighs> theater. Right, let me get a drink of water. <laughs> Very good. Um, so, who's playing who? We didn't talk about it. Uh, I'll play Submit. I'll let you okay. do Jenny. Okay. Um, All right. Okay, so you, he's thrown color on my um. face. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun, Jenny. Oh, oh. I'm so so happy being here with you. I feel very light now that my my parents have decided that they won't stand in our way anymore. Me too. So now, when can we get married? I beg your pardon? No, let's get married. Uh, I want to get married right away. Got no uh, reason to wait. uh, I'm not laying eggs here. Uh Maybe. Maybe. Can we wait a little? Uh, let's. Not, we're not going to get married tomorrow. Well, why? Why not? Why Hold not? What, go, do you, what else? Goes, what else keep us from getting married right go, now? Tomorrow goes through brain. Whatever, Smith. Case Come of on. inclement weather. No, but could Smith. it be something like? Uh, not getting any younger. Could I summon a hurricane? Yeah. Um, and Jenny, yes, Jenny, um, yes, I yes. want to get married, but we need to go to the astrologer. Oh, you know, no, he'll be fine. <laughs> it, we'll, uh, um, I don't and know why we didn't go last. For, he just was here. He's, he's just, just here. He told your parents not to worry about it. He's I think just, we're ready to go. If I want to get married, he's, today, let's get married. He's tonight. just, he's just gonna tell us when's a good time to get married. Like not, <laughs> not tomorrow, but soon. Because honestly, Jenny. Things are just happening really fast, and and we need to take a little time here. Did you just wind down like a toy? I'm a sad chicken. <laughs> but don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. We'll go okay. to the astrologer, okay. and, I'll find, the astrologer an, and I'll find says, another reason not to marry you. Oh, what? If the astrologer says we can get married, then can we get married right then, right away? Can the astrologer marry us? I want to marry you. I want to marry him. God. I got to go to the bathroom. And <laughs> scene. <laughs> oh, boy. So, y'all, and we, we, if you Even Jenny the, says in her in the moment, if he stops and doesn't marry me this time, and then I'll know he doesn't want to marry. And then she'll know. Then she'll know. <laughs> then she'll know. Um, it's, wow. And then next week, there's already a thing about Summit saying, let's take some time. Divorce was Div- really hard. hard for me. You, you know, Jenny, think about me. Think about me and Boy. all this. Divorce was really hard for me. And Jenny's sitting there like, think about you. <laughs> He's such a piece of shit. He really is. She really needs to, but again, at this point, like you feel so, you feel for her. I feel for her. I don't feel sorry for her. Yeah, I'm same. She knows. She knows, y'all. The neighbors activated. So, <laughs> um, if you hear she's, some of them, she's been very, very quiet for a while, and then uh, just have people have sent us that meme. I've gotten that meme and so I, much. I watch it every time, and I die hysterically. Y'all, there's a TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. Reality gaze. Yeah. Um, but there's this meme of this woman just, this is what your upstairs neighbor does. And at one point she's just walking around in platform boots. No, the best is the coffee table. Oh. When she just slams the coffee table down and then just picks it up and slams it down again. Yes. That happens like on the daily. It's true. I feel like she moves shit around. Just, she's feng shui in every single day. Every single day. <laughs> every single day. All anyway. Right, who are we talk about next? Stephen and Alina. Stephen okay. with a V, not, not Stephen, Stephen with, with a PH, because Stephen, Stephen with, with a v, v is it's... moving the goalposts again. He is moving the goalposts I again. I didn't think it was possible so soon. I thought we might have one, one episode without <laughs> him being so awful. I Here's what I want to know. I just thought about this, this, this episode. What do they do for money? 
I think his parents give him money. Because when we were their that, age. Those, that pest control can't have paid him that No. Well. When we were their age, could you have lived in Turkey for three months? She's not paying for it. No. I guarantee you his parents are somehow paying for it. Wow. Or he saved up enough where he scrimped and saved everything. I think his parents are paying for it. Gotta be. Maybe he did save up because he's moving to Russia and he won't be able to work for well, True. but he speaks the language. So he could actually He has to have a he has to have a work permit though. That's true. Um but they're married, so they may be able to get that. So you guys, it's been a few weeks since the proposal. Uh, the, yes. the famous proposal that that yes. we saw last time. We had that our exclusive second verse. <clears throat> yeah, that I, I had to send that. unspeakable videos of myself to yes. a, bo- a boom operator. <sighs> Thank God he was freaky deaky. Is somebody um, at your door again? No. I swear there's a ghost in here. I, I think this place is haunted. It's a good ghost. <laughs> you read Sometimes spirits, I've like woken it. up feeling sore, so maybe it's a gay ghost. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. I'm like, why do I feel dirty this He's morning? He's a ghost <laughs> It's a slutty ghost. ghost. So, um, they are, uh, uh, Stephen, she says, Stephen's taking forever to prepare the documents. Again, y'all, the red flags, even now. Yeah. And so, she says, living in Turkey is hard because I miss my family. I miss my friends. She's like, my best friends in Turkey are cats. Including Mr. Cucumber. Mr. Cucumber. Cat and cat. Cat cow. Cat cow, yeah. I thought that was clever. I thought that was like clever too. Like a yoga too. move. Because it, but I, I think she, I don't think she's thinking that because it looks like a cow. I really wish though when she was sitting there with the cats and the others started coming around the corner, <clears throat> we would hear, do, 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 I just wanted them to play cats. <laughs> Jellico cats. And Jellico weird. Jellico in the bed of go- that song is terrible. The musical's terrible. Let's I never honest. saw the movie. I can never. Did me you either. ever see it? Me either. Maybe I sat we should the trailers. Maybe next, like maybe we should just get high on Doobie and watch it. Don't promise people things that's we never going to happen. We won't. We won't. We still need to um, do our crossover with Reality Four Twenty. We just never got around to it. Four Twenty Fiance. Four Twenty Fiance. Reality Four. <laughs> You're so terrible. It sounds so. I know you don't think this. It's so demeaning. No, I don't mean you, to. When you get someone's name wrong, just tear. I'm bad at it. <clears throat> just don't do it. I told the people at Grok to help me with. It's actually a little better. What the supplements that I'm taking and everything now? Can they? I think I need a brain they, transplant. The, I was going to say, yeah, can we just, give you a brain just transplant? Just take it out and put it in. <laughs> anyway, so y'all, she's playing with her cat friends, um, but now. They have one month until their visas expire. Yeah. And y'all, of course, he's sitting there and he's always touching her. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, she said the fights and everything have been better. They haven't really fought or anything. But she asked him, she's like, so uh, I need to talk to you about something. What about the documents? Are we going to prepare these and get these turned in? We only have a month of our visas. And y'all remember, the attorney that they went to said, they needed to do their documents like yesterday. Yesterday, and he's and he says, uh, "I I needed this time to really feel more comfortable with you." And I wrote, "What gall!" Uh, well, I wrote, "You should have already been comfortable with her because this was the point." Like then schedule say, "Hey, let me come over to Russia or let's go somewhere and just get to know each other more." But- but let's th- let's think about this, you guys. It's so fucking shit. He shitty. says, I needed more time for me, but I needed you to leverage all of your life in Russia yep. and move to Turkey with me. We could not be intimate. Mm-hmm. We would have to live in separate places yep. if we would have done this your way. Yep. And in this fucked up controlling way, because it was all on your motherfucking timeline, not on our timeline. Yep. And then you proposed to me a few weeks ago with no plan yep. because you loved the proposal. You loved the, the event. You loved the specialness of it. Yep. This is, y'all, this guy's 
a huge piece of shit. The reason why he's doing this, this is because he loves the fairy tale he, of it. Well, he he's addicted the, to that dopamine rush. The of, drama of it. Of, of, of risky behavior. Risky business. That's what he likes. Risky That's what they business. call poodle and call risky it. Risky business. There goes risky business. Hey, boys, sorry about that clap you got. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call me risky for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> for nothing. So, you might want to get checked out again. There's some kind of parasite. <laughs> oh, okay. It's getting deep now. Um, but then Stephen doesn't it make gets it about worse. him. He says, but you know, what I'm really concerned about is... <clears throat> The church is really going to need to be an active part of our lives. But after we move to Russia, I'm worried that you're going to back out and not want to be baptized. Because y'all, because of COVID, they can't get baptized in Turkey right, right now. And so he says, I, he's like, if I would have prepared not to rush into a marriage. And he even says, we still have a lot to talk about. And I'm worried, like you just said. And he's like, and she's like, wait a minute, you want a promise from me? And he's she's like, like, yes. And he's like, yeah. Uh. And she's like, he's like, yeah, y'all. This is the kind when someone says, "Oh, I was just joking," and it's no, he said because she says, "What do you want? Do you want for me to write it and sign, write a document and sign it?" And he was like, like, "Yeah, yeah, that'd be great." And she was like, "Are you kidding me?" He's like, "I'm just like, kidding, yeah, y'all." He's not kidding because he brings exactly it up, what he wants because he brings it up later. Yeah, and I guarantee, but he you, still laughs about it. He's gonna bring this up again. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that she said it, he's gonna want her to sign a document because. Documents this and contracts. This is diabolical. But also, too, documents and contracts are very important in the Mormon church. Mm -hmm. They do that a lot for things. So, I uh, this is like speaking his language. And, y'all, this is called moving the goalposts. I'm going to torture you every step of the way. Just when you got something you thought you would get, I'm going to take, take it away. away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what this is. And you know what moving the goalposts feels like? <laughs> when you're moving the goalposts, you don't know. It's relation. It's racial relationship whack-a-mole. Yeah, you don't know. It it takes away a sense of reality. You don't know where you are. All your inertia. You're not grounded. No, and Alina even says. He's like, I just want you know. People at church have said that sometimes people say they want to get married and then they piece don't. Of shit. And she's like, if anyone can't trust the other person bitch it's me and i've given you no reason not to trust me i i i just she i she says i want to be baptized after we get married and move to russia i want to get baptized y'all this is this is the same type of fucking predator we've seen over and over again just in a, i've said this before just in a less threatening costume yeah it's it's the same type of person, yeah. and and we see they're always men. Let's be honest. They um, yes yes yes, and they're always trying to. It's through a pattern of gaslighting, moving the goalposts. It is, uh, and then and then it's it's this who it's the person we don't cover anymore. Yeah. Everything we saw this with him and Liz. Yeah. When Liz would agree to something, he'd move the call post again. So yeah. you never know where you are. <sighs> and that's why we don't cover him. But besides that thing about her base, him basically screaming and abusing her. And even though on, now I think she's pregnant. That's the rumor. Ugh. We're not covering him on the single life. So we are going to cover him on the single life. So no yeah. Ed. Um, um, that's that's, that's it. For it. Them. He just says at the end, she gets upset. He's like, "I was being playful. I didn't need it. At all. <laughs> Let me touch you." Then, then he can't keep his fucking hands off of her again. I, I recoil every time he touches Gross. her. I know. I, I, I Ugh. guarantee you, there are a lot of people watching who dated a Stephen, who dated, especially in a religious community. Who grew up in religious? If you communities. dated a Stephen, I hope this is a good lesson for you, just to see either, or if you're in that relationship, to get out. Yeah, or if you're if you're currently dating one, you yes, say get out. Or you could, but I guarantee you, there are people who who dated Stevens before who saw that the first time. Yeah. Let us, if you dated a Stephen, y'all, and you need support. You can if you're in the Facebook yeah. group in the Sissy Squad. We just or had a tell Sissy us about the other day. Dating said, I went through some shit with a sh my shitty ex husband, and she put, said I was got so much support from this group, and we're finally divorcing, and they were there. It was great to see them just jump in and like, oh bitch, me too. I've been there, so yeah. we have fun in there, y'all. And remember, 
people, if you think you're going through stuff, mm-hmm. you are not the only one. Mm-mm. People, you're not. People are living a life out there. I know Poodle's an Enneagram 4 and wants to think his relationship is special only to him, but it's not. How dare you? Mine is very unique. No one has the problems I do. No one. Yeah. Yo, no that's one. the show. That's the show. That's the show. You go to realitygaze.com if you're interested in our live shows for New York and Chicago. Chicago. In January for the Friday night shows. Uh, be sure to click on a link tree link. Again, we're going to remind you for our New York show, if you're going... To New the, York. New York. A sissy was just asking, hey, I'm going to see the reality gates, and I'm also going to see Watch What Crappens, because their show's on Thursday night. They're doing Please. crappies. So go see both. It's a big gangbang with it's all of us. It's a big gangbang with all of us. Just a, like a three-day burning man, yeah. but instead of like not wearing deodorant and yeah. being outside, mm-hmm. uh, you get to be in the city and see gay people. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Poodle will be tired because Ronnie has big hands, but at least Ben will bake something. So let's hope for it, y'all. Ronnie has big hands. <laughs> he does. Always. I'm like, Ronnie, your hands are huge. Ben He's will like, bake something. I know they are. I just can't touch it. I, can't, can't, can't. I can never grab a pen when I want it. That's what he says. He's so funny. I love him. Um, that's the show, everybody. That's the show. You can, uh, also, you can get us on Cameo. Come at us on Cameo. We appreciate those. Um, just, um, I did one for a friend of... For their friend who was in a, a, a uh, in a bad place, and they sent me a message just saying she couldn't stop smiling for like five hours. So it and, really makes you feel good when you do and that. And this sounds, I totally, and I what I just said right before this, we were talking about something, and we got a message that says, thanks for just doing this. And honestly, keep those messages coming, guys. Some, Means days, a lot to us. some days are crappy, and we get bogged down with everything else. And just know, it's good just to know that uh, tell us that it makes if, 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 you, if we make one person feel better mm-hmm. our day's better when Poodle better. is sitting there spraying that wig for the fourth time and trying to <laughs> rat it because it won't set like he wanted it it keeps us going alright everybody <sighs> we call these people lonely hearts because Poodle aren't we all just lonely hearts looking for love in all the wrong places yes and if the only friends you have in Turkey are Mr. Cucumber and Cat Cow yeah. first get help get help <laughs> Call us. Call us. See y'all. <laughs>